it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And I'm returning to a beer that I once tried 10 years ago and I loved it, really loved it. Now, when I reviewed this beer 10 years ago, it was only kind of available in like a Waitrose or a Marks and Spencers. And then when it was available in Marks and Spencers and Waitrose, it was always 30 pence more than any other bottled beer on the shelf. It's Timothy Taylor's Landlord. It's coming in at 4.1% ABV. A uh, picture of the barley malt there on the green bottle cap. 500 milliliter bottle. Now, what's changed for me? Uh, now, I still like a Landlord. Always like a Landlord. But I tell you what's changed for me. Let's get the beer out first into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Now down in South Wales, this beer is now more readily available. You can pick it up in places like Morrison's and Tesco's and... Asda. Oh, I picked a glass with a... <clears throat> Picked a glass of the widget again, never mind. A uh, lovely, lovely carbonation on this beer. We got a three finger white head. The, the other thing I want, oh, and it's golden amber in color. But the, the other thing I wanted to mention, as well as being able to buy it in Tesco and Asda and Morrison's and every other supermarket now around the UK, all around the UK, it's not such a kind of a, a restricted Waitrose or, or Max Spencer's beer, is that the prices come in line as well. It's no longer kind of a, a, a premium priced beer. It's the same price. It's that kind of the same price as any other kind of beer out there. So you can pick this up in, well, you used to be able to buy a four for three deal. I haven't been to a supermarket for a few weeks looking at the bottle deal, but when I was last there, you could buy a four for three deal four bottles or maybe was it three bottles for a fiver that, that's it three bottles for a fiver uh, and and this now has come in line you can actually pick this up in as part of the three bottles for five pounds so that's the only noticeable change that i know of in the 10 years that i've been drinking this beer before i've tasted the beer just talking about the packaging and talking about the the, the availability of the beer uh, let's get the aroma then Mm, it's that really lovely traditional British combination of, of, of a biscuity sweet bitterness and a slightly kind of stinging nettle, spicy peppery hop there in the aroma. It smells so inviting. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. What a beautiful beer. What a beautiful beer. It really is a standout, top quality bottled ale, this. I've always, always been a fan of this beer. You're greeted by, you're greeted by a slight kind of sweet... <laughs> the dog's scratching the sofa. Um, absolutely kind of can you hear that just I'm gonna say nothing I always get myself into trouble these days I'm gonna say nothing um, I'll have the RSPCA after me <laughs> say nothing's best Be greeted by a, 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 a sweet kind of malty biscuitiness that's quickly swept away with a lovely hoppy bitter stinging nettle bitter finish and the balance of the beer is wonderful it really is wonderful it's that lovely kind of 
peppery spiciness and sweetness. But the other thing as well is the carbonation. When the carbonation hits the mouth, you push, it pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth and re releases more and more of that flavour. Now let's let's turn to let's turn to kind of what's changed over ten years. I honestly think, I honestly think that they've kept the same recipe. I think what they've managed to do is by getting this beer in more supermarkets. They're raising the volume of production. So when they're raising the volume of production, they're making more money on the beer. So I think just by selling more of it and getting it readily available in places like Tesco's and Morrison's throughout the UK, they've been able to kind of suck up that 30 pence premium on the bottle price because they're selling more beer. It's always been a favourite of mine. When I'm not reviewing beer on YouTube, I still buy bottled beers to, to, to drink. Actually, I picked this up. I picked this up actually from when I was on my way home from Bristol about a month ago. And I went to brew with more beer company. On the way back, I decided I wanted a train beer. And it was a Sainsbury's just round the corner. And they had that three bottles for £5 deal. So I picked up three bottles for the train. I picked up this, a bottle of Okame Ale Citra. Um, and uh, a Old Peculiar. And I drank the Old Peculiar. And I, by, by the time I drank that, I was in Cardiff. So I didn't kind of, didn't get round to drinking the landlord. So I thought to myself, well, why not kind of hold on to this and, and do a comparison and, 10-year comparison. I'm really pleased to say that this beer hasn't changed. I have drunk it quite a bit in between those 10 years. But I've not stood and reviewed it. Look at the head retention on the beer. Look at that fantastic head retention and lacing on the glass. Look at the way the carbonation is rolling up the glass. Look at that slight haze in there. This is not a American pale ale. This is a classic British, English pale ale. This has thoughts of sitting on a, a river bank, watching the, or a barge, watching a badge go by. What do they call those longboat things where you go on holiday to, on? on? Um, what do they call them things? You rent them for a week, you go on holiday. Well, some some of the boats, you're driving along the canals and, and there's pubs. You can like, like or you can kind of tie your boat up. I don't know boat in terms. I, 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 is it or, or your boat? Or is all the, no, no. What did, what's the name when you tie your blooming boat up? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. It just come to me, it's gone again. Um, you can, you know, you, you imagine going along on the, on, on, on the boat and you see a pub in the distance and you think to yourself, oh, I'm just going to tie the boat up here and go and have a pint. This reminds me of like a, 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 an English summer day, sitting in a wonderful beer garden, enjoying a pint of Landlord. Life don't get much better than that, does it? Life does not get any better than that. So um, let's have a look at this then. What are they saying on the back? The drinker's favourite and classic pale ale with a complex citrus and hoppy aroma. Landlord was launched in 1952 and has won more awards nationally than any other beer, including Camera Draft Supreme Champion Beer of Britain four times. Taylor's taste is acquired by using the finest natural ingredients, our unique no. Spring water, the highest grade golden promise bar malted barley, whole leaf hops and our own Taylor's yeast. Taste yeast is used in the beer. Um, I think it's wonderful. I'm going to rate this um, for the price. I mean, for three bottles for £5, which I picked it up a month or so ago. I think that's tremendous value for money. What is that? £1.30. Is it £1.33? £2.66? No, it's not. It's something like one pound. Is it one pound sixty-six? 
My maths is terrible. Anyway, it's one pound something divided by three if you buy three bottles for five pound. Do the maths, I'm terrible with maths. Used to be good, used to be good at maths, but not anymore. Rating. I haven't looked at the review from 11 years ago. Um, but I'm just going to kind of, so I don't know what I rated it 11 years ago, but um, I'm going to rate it this now as a, I mean, for the money, value for money. This is, this is a stonking, stonking 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real L Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.